Hello everybody, my name is Ross and welcome to Children of Morta. I think it's Morta, I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. Uh, I'm interested in this game for some time now and I just kind of want to do, like, you know, first look at it in some time, but I didn't actually quite get to it. I don't know exactly what stopped me. And uh, now that I actually don't have exactly too many games to play on my list, I was like, you know what, let's take a look. I really like indie games to be honest, I'm not exactly if this one particularly it's developed by an indie developer because I didn't read into it but I'm gonna read after this one but I like like small games that have like this interesting concept uh, concepts actually and like really interesting, really interesting take on stuff okay so we're gonna make a new save here I think my controller is fucked I don't know exactly what happened there. I think we started the game, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, right from the beginning, this looks amazing. Hello. Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. Okay, it's kind of a pixel art style. She gathered her thoughts. I like the narration voice. She gathered her thoughts. Can Aged do really good. Creaked, <laughs> narration voice. The quiet rooms. Damn, look at this place. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. Margaret sought answers. Okay. But the goddess did not speak. I there see. was only the faint whisper of something dark, something hungry, Okay, something hungry. Okay. This looks like an interesting tree. Just waiting to go like to my menu to see bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. To see if I can like change resolution stuff. I don't know exactly what's the The only thought on her details. mind. Has it begun again? I don't know exactly what he's talking about, but look at this crazy planet. Like, I would say we're not, we're definitely not on Earth. <laughs> John's mission would be a simple one. Okay. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. It's so where did I know this narrator? Like, I know the voice. <laughs> From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. Oh, that's me, yeah. Brother, it's really old. Gave him a kiss. I just have a huge his beard. daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. Oh, it's cute. I really like the pixel art style of it. It looks really nice. I think a game that I want to play, and it's kind of pixel art style, it's like Monolighter, and actually got to it. That a few, quite quite a few good games that I didn't play on this channel yet, like recorded, and I want to take like a look at them, or just like do an episode on it. I'm trying to, let me try to fix my controller, because it was not working okay. Okay, I think now it's working okay. Cool, I have a dodge, it does have a stamina. To recharge, okay. It's a pretty big stamina gauge. Can attack. How do I shield? Okay, like that. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Uh, let's take a look around. I didn't like the perspective. Like I, to be honest, I particularly love this type of games. I was expecting that bridge to like broke down or something, and <laughs> just like fall to my death. Uh, so I have a few things closed, also um, 
yeah it's showing my weapons i have there dead cells it's not a really good game i made the video on it if you Rhea, really want to check it out you can go ahead long forgotten find on my choice of unimaginable beauty indeed that looks like a goddamn planet like looks indeed amazing do i need some kind of ability to get there as i see that maybe i don't know or doing this exactly what did do would that do anything no cool i don't think you can sprint or anything like that i could try oh yeah oh you know that's the dodge it first appeared as sludge given life Slithering creatures, small and vile. Okay, so this guy's attacked me. Okay, they have like HP status, you can say. So it's more like uh, it's not instant death. They have their own HP and stuff. So probably it's a, uh, one of those games you can actually get weapons with more damage and stuff. So you kind of need to be tactical about it. If they get too close, probably I can use my shield to block. I could try to use it, see what's happening. They kind of try to go around it. Okay, I see. They were trying to attack me from behind from what I was seeing there. Can we do multiple attacks? Yeah, we can. I could just spam it. I don't really need to move on these guys. Okay. Do we have any heavy? No. We can just like hold it. Okay, maybe a little bit uh, more work into that could work because the combat doesn't feel so satisfying if you just like spam it. Uh, not now now, but maybe, uh, yeah, not now at least, but maybe after we get something like a little bit bigger or something like that, we, it could be more satisfying. But currently with this guys, it's like just, I could spam it and they cannot do shit to me. Cool. Also, I'm not a big fan of like numbers and stuff. Like, you know, when it's showing like the damage indicators and stuff, how much damage. I probably can deactivate that. Yeah, let me try to check a moment my settings. Can I go to my menu? How do I do that? Oh, here. Okay. Okay, everything seems to be in order. I don't have too much customization on this game. Like, don't get me wrong, it's like a really small game. I don't think it's even that longer, like, long either. So you could go and just like take it and play it like in one sitting probably, which is really nice, like I don't mind that. And I do think it's an indie game, like that's, I'm not sure, but I do think it's an indie game. Um, because like usually it looks like something that was developed from like a small developer or something. Okay, these guys are a little bit challenging. So you kind of need to move on the direction they are like facing. Okay, we can find life on them, which is good. I think so. I, I think I maybe can block from... I don't know if I need to look at them or anything when they attack. But yeah. Yeah, I know. I can evade attacks. Okay. I don't have a stamina bar, which kind of... I do have one, but only for the dodge, so kind of like lets you abuse, abuse it, like the attacks. The game looks impressive, but nothing too interesting now, we're just clearing these guys. Uh, we, don't know, we don't know exactly what's the story behind, or like what's happening. Okay, so my shield does have a stamina. I think it does. So the like the blue bar, oh the blue bar, yeah. Does it take from my attacks? It doesn't. So I think only the shield that's having like its own thing there, like how many times I actually can block. Which is that's cool, that's cool, that's really interesting. Okay, so I think this is my checkpoints and like the way to save. I don't know exactly if this game is gonna have any bosses or anything like that. <laughs> Maybe it does. Impeding further progress. A battle was certain. Impeding further progress. That, that was a nice one, narrator. Yeah, I know. I can use. Oh. Special ability to use. Wait, what? 
Is that a special ability? Because I was using the shield the entire time. Oh yeah, I need to kind of dodge all the way there because like my shield is having a time. And these guys are 4v1, so... I keep pressing the wrong button. Come on. Yep, I keep keep pressing the wrong button button for the attack. Could just attack all the time if I'm like facing in the right direction. It doesn't. It's not even a problem. Uh, like this guy, if I keep attacking them, they don't attack me. So okay. B to interact. Banished by light itself, the corruption abated, okay. leaving the shard cold in hand, dark in need of life. Interesting. I was thinking I absorbed it, but like, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I keep walking into enemies and stuff. Uh, it's a little hard to like get used with the like dodge. It's really... A really awkward way they, where they put it. It's like on my triangle button, and it's kind of odd. Okay, so do we have two choices here? We could go through here or through the other side. Oh hi, the hell are you? Have anything to do here? Doesn't feel like it. Maybe we need to find like an item or something. A little hard to get used with the controls, but it should be okay. Um, greater chest requires a gemstone to open. Gemstones are found in different places, like the animal corpses. Okay, that's odd. Humming softly from the harnessed energy. That's like a new item, right? Yeah. Damage enemies burn in fire. Okay. Damage enemies. So it's like when I attack. It's interesting, like the art, like you know, like you have these random thrones and stuff in it. Before him was now one more dangerous than those that came before. Okay. Is this a boss? Yep. Cool. What happened? I level up. Gain XP as you kill enemies. When reaching a certain amount of XP, you will gain a skill point. You can skill. You can use skill points to upgrade your abilities in the skill tree. Press to open. Yeah. Okay. Cool. None of those are working. Okay, this one. Doesn't make too much sense how it's indicating, like, how the indicator is looks and what I actually need to press. Uh, gain a skill point when you gain enough XP. Okay. Uh, spend a skill point to learn your skills. Cool. Uh, ability description. Select ability description can be seen on the right panel. Okay. Uh, press A on an av available skill to learn it. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can close that. Oh, cool. So that's how I use my ability skill. Interesting. Interesting. That's not bad. It's a dead animal. Do we need to do anything about it? It's a fucked up joke somehow, but it's fine. Oh, do, 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 do. Why are so many dead animals? A familiar oh, hi. Threat, albeit farther out than usual. Okay. I don't have it, right? That was not doing a lot. Cool. 
Yeah, you kind of need to get used with the controls, but the game itself, it's like really nice. It's really sweet so far. It was more like that would like it was selling for more when it started. Like inherently violent and ill-bathed, the goblins were an unfocused but constant threat. I think the what's ruining for me it's actually the narrator. I don't like games that like too much of narration and stuff. I like games that talk for themselves. You know, you don't need someone to just like tell you what the shit is happening. I do, I do like a narrator when you have like cutscenes and stuff. Dangerous, a land of love found and of love lost. Cool. Okay, guys, but I'm gonna stop here. That's it for this episode. If you enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to see more, let me know. And I'm gonna do more. If not, just don't let me know, and I'm not gonna do more. Uh, just subscribe to the channel if you're new to this channel, and also like, yeah, don't hesitate to leave a comment. No matter what you want to say, leave a comment and share for more and so on. Just support. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you as always in the next one. Bye bye.